fingerprints. I know it's one of those things where you've got to be so careful when you're painting not to kind of get your fingers all over the paper, especially if the background of the image that you're painting is white. So if you've just got the white of the paper, you've got to really be careful with putting your hand on there, getting the natural oils off your hand onto that paper. Now, there are different ways of doing this. You can either use kind of a half glove. I bought this off eBay for, uh, what was it, a pound, believe it or not, from another, <laughs> well, from abroad, let's put it that way around, from China it came from. So the idea is it kind of half goes on your hand like so. Very comfortable, actually, I must admit. And it can be left or right-handed, bear in mind I'm left-handed. So that when you go to the painting, is that it does protect the painting surface from any natural oils on your hand. So therefore you can carry on and paint. The other method I tend to use, I'll just take that off a minute. That's quite nice though, I do like those. It's not something I use on a regular basis, but um, I may start using those. Is just a sheet of paper. I'll just get an A4 sheet of paper. If we can open it up one second. And then fold it in half. And then I use that as a means of protecting the watercolour paper surface underneath. It's also handy as well is that if you use that kind of half glove, any pencil marks, you'll end up rubbing it because you're moving your hand up and down the paper all the time. Because this stays in situ, just stays put, nothing gets moved underneath there. So it's ideal just by using a sheet of white paper. So thinking about fingerprints, that kind of thing on the paper or kind of marks from your hand, cover up first. Another way as well, by the way, if you wanted to get a sheet of paper or even tracing paper, which is semi-transparent as you know, um, and just cover up the entire picture, draw the outline, and then cut out from the tracing paper around the outline itself, just a little bit further away, and then leave that on top of the painting. At least that way, you'll be able to protect the painting surface and carry on painting your lovely detail work. So that's just a little bit, just to make sure that you protect the white of the paper and to prevent any fingerprints going all over that lovely surface. So if you leave any comments and questions, please put them down below. I'd love to hear from you. And until next time around, I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye for now. If you'd like to see more watercolour painting tips, head to patreon.com forward slash the Devon Artist and you'll see my full list of step-by-step -step video tutorials on how to paint wildlife in watercolour. Where you get also the project photo, the outline drawing for that month's project as well, and even a step-by-step -step handwritten or hand-typed by me full PDF on that particular current month's project. So come and join me and let's get painting together. And don't forget to click on like, subscribe and share. And please leave a comment down below as well. I'd love to kind of hear your thoughts and find out what you've been up to on your painting ventures. So until next time, bye bye for now.